tell us how long it's going to take and uh, what to expect. Uh, it will take about 10 hours. Ten. Now that's a pretty cool view to wake up to. What up everybody, I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. I'm feeling tired. If you watched yesterday's uh, episode, you'll know that it was a disaster trying to get to the Hunza Valley. We're not there yet, we got a long way to go. I woke up at this place. We're in a, a city or a town called Bisham and we're staying at the Bisham Hilton. Pretty, what is that? Is that a peacock? What? <laughs> A peacock shown on the ledge of what are you doing up there so high? Oh my gosh, and there he goes. Or there she goes. Wow. I was today years old when I realized peacocks could fly that high? That blew my mind. Never in a million years did I expect to see a peacock. Hopefully that's a sign of good luck, right? Are peacocks a sign of good luck? They're going to be. Well, day off to a little bit of a rocky start. Uh, it's six, I don't know, it's almost 7 a.m. My driver was supposed to pick me up at 6 a.m. because we still got like a nine to 10 hour drive uh, to Hunza. So, so long, not looking forward to it, but if I, if I get treated to more views like this, this is okay. Um, but now he's like not answering his phone or the phone just says it's disconnected. So a little bit panicked. And I think we need to leave early because we don't want to drive through like Hunza while it's dark because I'm sure the roads are like insane. Uh, but we're staying at a Hilton. I showed you this place last night. Quiet, ghost town levels. I don't see this guy's car anywhere. Nobody else is out here. But uh, we're gonna figure it out. So today I think will be the first true day in the Hunza Valley. Barring any landslides, car breakdowns, or maybe just the driver not showing up. All right, so let's, let's go in the room. Let's pack the bags and uh, let's go find this driver and get on the move. Hello, Mr. Peacock. Oh, Mrs. Peacock! Definitely one of the cooler. I mean, that, that's, that's like picture perfect right there, right? That is picture perfect, y'all. Don't know where my driver is, but I've been told the guide is here. His name, Mudasir, we're gonna meet him. Assalamu alaikum. Is this the lobby? Lobby? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm looking for uh, my driver. Assalamu alaikum. Are you Mudasir? Mudasir? No, okay, no worries. Well, poke our heads around and let's see what we find. Very dark, no lights on yet. Oh, it looks like there's a breakfast buffet going on, but we're just a little too early. What a tragedy. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, my friend? How are you? Good, good. Aapka naam kya hai? Thank you. Are you my guide? Yeah. Mudasir? No. <laughs> oh, no. Nice, nice meeting you, my friend. Allah yeah. Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Not, not sure who the, not sure who the guy is. Uh, I'm going to the Hunza Valley. Uh, Where are you going? <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Assalamu alaikum, gentlemen. Alaikum. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Uh, they told me the guide would be waiting in the lobby, and they told me that... Probably not my guide. Uh, and they told me that the driver uh, was on his way, too. I don't know where he slept last night. Again, this is, this is the Hilton Bisham, and I haven't seen, like... I don't know, I don't... I don't I, Personally, I don't think it's a real Hilton. <laughs> I don't know if there's any association because I don't see any Hilton branding. Maybe you can just call any hotel a Hilton. There was also like a Ramada in Pakistan that definitely wasn't a Ramada. They just put the name on it. And, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. We've got to be some like other tourists down. Uh, United States of America. America. Yes, yes. Abkanam kia hai? Sardar Ali. Sadar. Sardar. Very nice name. Are, are you a security guard here or military? KPK police. Say again? KPK police. Ah, KPK police. Very nice. I like I like your gun, man. Very cool. Uh, nice. And uh, you you stay here? I stay here. No, it's police station. Police station. Okay. Can can you tell I'm us? Come here to your security. Got it. Can, can you tell us what your favorite Pakistani oh, food Pakistani. is? Finally, you come in that hotel to security give him a Ah, uh, okay. Shukriya, my friend. Shukriya. Thank you. Police. 
Very interesting tool, weapon. Not sure, not, not quite sure what, what that is. There's, there's a lot of guns in Pakistan, you know, I've seen a lot of loggers go to like the gun markets and stuff. Maybe I'll do that. Not, not a big gun guy, seen one gun, kind of seen them all. Rocket launchers though, definitely a rocket launcher and a flamethrower guy, if we can, we can find those. Let's, uh, I kind of want to take a little peek up here. Well, where is the guide? Because we, we do need to be going. Oh, I'm, uh, let's go get a little, huh? I'm your guy. Oh, you're Mudasir? Yeah. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Nice to meet you, my friend. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. good. Did you sleep here last night? Yeah, I came here around 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? Yeah. Wow, are you, are you tired? you need some coffee? No, I'm good. A little chai? Yeah, maybe a chai. Maybe a chai. And we're waiting for the other driver now to yeah. go, or? Okay. Uh, he's just uh, changing some clothes. He'll be back in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. I just want to go take a look at the birds down here, then we'll meet with our guy in a little bit. He's probably as tired as I am if he went to bed at 1 in the morning. Uh, it looks like they got a little, maybe like, bird sanctuary here. I'm, I'm glad, I hope they don't like lock the, oh, I, I can't front. I'm not the biggest fan of keeping birds caged. Matter of fact, I don't like it at all. But at least they're outside, at least they're, at least they're not house. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, hello. Hello, Thailand. Thailand? Thailand. I love Thailand. <laughs> I, I went to Thailand uh, three years ago, four years ago maybe. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, hello. You're from Thailand? Oh, I love Thailand. I've been to Bangkok. I've been to Koh Phangan. Thailand, Thailand. Thailand. I love Thai food. Hello. Nice hello. to meet you guys. How, how do you say hello in Thai? I forgot. Sawadika. Sawadika. Yes, it's been a long time. So nice to meet all of you. Sawadika. <laughs> ciao, ciao. The Thai people, also some of the nicest in the world. Um, when I, I went to Thailand before, I was a vlogger. One of the best trips of my life. It was actually the trip that made me want to become a vlogger. Okay, bye bye birdies, I hope you get free. Oh, and the sun is starting to hit the mountains now. Mudis here, what, what do we have in store for this drive today? Tell us how long it's gonna take and uh, what to expect. Uh, it'll take about 10 hours at Ten. the least, yes. Uh, uh, if the road is, uh, isn't damaged, because if there are many rock slides on the way. If uh, we're lucky and we miss all those, then we'll get there early. But uh, because it's uh, the weather is really bad and it's uh, like uh, about to rain, I think. So I don't put my hopes up. Actually. Oh no! <laughs> yes, if 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 Mudasir's hopes are low, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us, y'all. Yeah. So there's rock slides from because yeah. it, it rained like crazy last night, yeah. like I said. Yeah. It was... So parts of the road might be blocked. Yeah, I actually got stuck for like 30, uh, 40 minutes on the way. Oh no! Are you okay? Yeah. Was it just like? It was like far away, but it was nothing serious. So just like they had to wait for traffic to yeah, clear? Yeah, mm. they had to clean up the roads because they bring bulldozers there and clean huh. up the roads. So it's a quick process, but uh, sometimes it takes a lot of time, a lot of time. Oh wow, not great. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not great. Well, that'll be an adventure for yeah, all of us. It is. So it would be. Well, there, will, there, will, will this drive be dangerous if it rains? Uh, no, not so much. Uh, not so much. Yeah. Maybe a little bit danger, yeah. but not so much. Uh, okay. Well, all right. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, I've. Uh, I are you driving or is the other guy driving? You're yeah, just. The other guy's driving. Other I'm guy's driving. Guy. Okay. Okay. The driver just appeared. It's 7:30 now. We're definitely late. I mean, we're not getting. To, we're not getting to Hunts Valley late night. So I'm like, well, if we're gonna be late, we might as well have some breakfast. And I see that they have eggs. So, oh no, I think that's what is that? That's like porridge or something. Here's all we need. Just, just, some, just some eggs. And uh, maybe we're gonna see what else they bring for uh, breakfast, but I just I just need one egg to power me through the day. <laughs> That's all I need. Wait, where's my plate? There we go. Boom, eggy time. Oh, and my man's coming through with the, oh, we got toast, we got the paratha over there. Always a good way to start the day with some eggies and paratha, am I right? All right, the boys got a little breakfast going on. He got some milk tea, brother. He's got the paratha, a breakfast, lunch, and dinner staple here. And then my man Moody's here. He put so much sugar in his, in his in his coffee, man. You're gonna be up for six days, bro. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna be one. That's the plan, actually. <laughs> like, it's a very bad road, so I need all the energy. I'm oh God, I, maybe I don't want caffeine then. Maybe I want to sleep through the bad roads. I probably won't be able to sleep because it's gonna be like so bumpy, huh? Yeah, it will be bumpy. It will lightly sleep, this isn't the road for you. Oh, it's gonna be a trip. Oh no, and it's raining. Ah! No more false starts. Let's go. Some coffee in the stomach, some eggies in there. And uh, it's raining, folks. But there's clear skies over there. We're ready to see what kind of unpredictable mountain air we get. 
Here's our whip again for the day in the Toyota. With the something or other, I don't even know what this thing's called. Sugaria, my friend. With, oh, the Toyota what? Zia lot. No, it's an Altus. Oh, it's an Altus. All right, the Altus. Let's roll. And we're rolling down these Basham streets. Driving through here last night. I didn't take any videos, but it was cool. Like, there were so many, like, what I would call almost Christmas lights, but, like, white Christmas lights all over the buildings. It was, like, really well lit. It seemed to be, like, a good energetic vibe throughout the, throughout the town. Uh, but this morning, windy. Okay, we definitely still have, like, nine and a half hours to go. We're barely out of Basham yet. Um, but as you can see, like, the, I mean, the mountains are incredible. I got the biggest smile ever on my face right now. There's some of those blue skies, and down there we've got this river. Sorry, excuse me, I'm gonna put that in front of your face. Um, but uh, if you can't tell, um, there's these there's these ropes that they use to transport goods across one edge, or uh, one side of the, of the river to the other. And man, these, these roads are crazy. I, I can't even imagine what they're gonna be like. As we, whoa, I'm gonna go a little further here. Whoa! Definitely uh, our driver here, expert, skilled, cruising on those Grand Theft Auto, Grand Turismo levels, taking these hairpin turns. Uh, Mudasir though tells us that as we get uh, into Hansa, there's gonna be yeah. less and less trees, right? Yeah, like the mountains would have less trees because there are more rocky mountains and they're up in the altitude and the tree, we will go above the tree lines. The mountains actually would be above the tree lines. So there won't be many trees here. Like the trees you see here are specifically, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they are like at almost at the edge of the uh, tree lines. So in Hunza and uh, you'll get mostly the mountains are above the tree lines, so that's why there aren't many trees there. Like on the top you'll see some alpine forests, but down below you won't get anything. Alpine forest, got it, okay. Mudasir is telling us we're at a road that's famous for landslides and we can see all these rocks that have well slid <laughs> down the mountain uh, from last night whoa those are those are serious rocks yikes and so uh there's no threat of those falling right now and hitting the uh, car no, right no, 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 no. we, we got a did i sign a waiver for this for this ride uh wow interesting yeah all these little just like pebbles and, and rocks that have fallen down whoa some some just massive and so have there been crews that have cleaned up the place yeah, between there are, last like, night and today? Yes, yes. There are like uh, people actually established here, especially for those regions, because there are sometimes in the rainy season, there are a lot of landslides. So they are like regularly cleaning the road. So Got we are it. safe. It's all right. Yeah. Word. Okay. But we're, we're, we're safe. No threat of landslides. Oh yeah. See, so just like these, these piles over here that they've been stacked up in. But what a... Some, this is like some Lord of the Rings type mountains out here. It's like with the misty morning clouds. Really cool atmosphere. And whoa, more of those little rocks just piling up everywhere. And you can see where the erosion has happened. Oh, a little waterfall. Oh, this is so, so cool, y'all. And we're not just sharing the road with uh, cars. Got a couple land animals that we're sharing with. Oh, that's, this is, that's cool to see. A little kid rolling. Is that a donkey or a horse? No, it's a mule. Mule, okay. All right, stopped for a little bathroom break and probably picked one of the coolest areas I've ever stopped to take a bathroom break. We got a snow sighting. Ooh, look at this, y'all. Look at all the different colors. And then from up there, the stream with all the rain from last night just pouring into this river over here. Mudasar, what is the name of the river again? Uh, Gilgit River. Like it's the the Gilgit River? Yeah. Wow. Just stunning. It's kind of got like this green color to it, like a very like neutral green. Unbelievable, y'all. I'm in awe. And there's some snow. Oh, and we're starting to feel a couple more raindrops too. The sun is starting to come out. Look at this. Again, every, almost every like a few kilometers, like the colors of the rocks change. But now we're starting to see way more snow on the mountaintops as we get more and more up here. You know, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm staying. I'm, we're definitely still like seven to eight hours away probably from our, our final hotel destination tonight. So we got a long way to go, but uh, the, the drive just keeps getting more and more beautiful. Okay, we're in definitely more of like, a, this is like the most towniest of the towns that I've seen uh, since we were uh, in the, at the hotel. And so you're starting to see like hotels and apartments here. And I've been told we're in the town of Nasu. Dasu. Dasu, yeah. very busy. Got dogs everywhere. We got a bunch of little stores and shops. People just out and about, chowing down, having some breakfast. People moving lumber and wood and all sorts of things. And yeah, 
This must be, uh, is this kind of like a tourist spot, a stop? Uh, no, this is the main market area between uh, the, the city of Dasu and Patan, right? So that's where this is, uh, there is so much traffic here. A lot oh, okay. of people stop. Okay, main market. Yeah, this is the main market. And people selling bananas and potatoes and onions and all sorts of other fruits and vegetables. Just a stunning view in this town, like absolutely amazing. Look at this mountain backdrop here. Look at all these houses here built on this vertical hill. I mean, this is just a crazy feat of like architecture and design. And uh, our guide tells us that, you know, when the landslides occur and things get destroyed, they just rebuild. And I'm just thinking like, how do you even get up there? Okay, looks like we've got this big, this big set of stairs that will take us all the way up to the top and just some people walking up the areas. I mean, there's just all these areas where the, the rocks have fallen and there's been landslides. Just insane, y'all. Wow, check this out, y'all. The road is, uh, the road's pretty flooded. Man, you almost need a four by four vehicle to get through here. I don't even want to look how close we are. How, how close uh, the water is to like the undercarriage of the car. This is nuts. Definitely the, the soggiest and most treacherous place we've been on. Wow, and, and there really wasn't even that much rain last night. I can't even imagine what this would have been like when the floods hit a couple of months ago. Just extraordinary. All right, we've reached our first kind of road blockage. Up kese hai? Assalamu alaikum. Up kese hai? Assalamu alaikum. Very happy people. Oh, where are we here? Okay. Wow, just this incredible valley right here. Great place, great place for road bro blockage. So we gotta wait here? Yeah, until the construction is completed. You see that truck over there? Yeah. So that's where the construction is going, I think. So... Got it. Okay, should we? Hey, uh, how are you? Assalamu alaikum, I'm Wa good. How are you? Islam. Where are you from? Uh, United States. Oh, United yeah, States. So, what's your YouTube name? Uh, it's it's my name. It's Brent Tim. Mirror name Brent Tim. Okay. Your name is? Arsalan. Arsalan, nice yeah. to meet you. Muhammad Omar. Uh, thank you. Muhammad Omar, nice to meet you guys. Assalamu alaikum. These are my group. Like, these are the gang. Ah, the gang. And we're just waiting Hello, for the road to open. Same, you and I both were waiting, yeah, waiting it's, for it to open. It's been 30 minutes we are right. waiting here. Oh, you're already waiting 30 minutes? Yeah, we are waiting 30 minutes. That's a long time to be waiting. Yeah, yeah, and like... We're planning to so, play some games it's now. On. Like. <laughs> play some games. What are you yeah. gonna play? Uh, maybe cards. Cards. Yeah. Okay. In in between the road. Did you guys make this drive very often? Your English is very good, man. <laughs> really good English. Oh, because you... I had like uh, daily meetings with my client in USA. So ah, okay. Right. Yeah. So do you, do you make this drive a lot? Yes, um, yes. Yeah, yeah. We like visit northern areas very often. And it's very, the road yeah, gets yeah, closed yeah. down a lot, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my uh, we got some more guys back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. 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 assalamu yeah. alaikum. Pakistan. Yeah. 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 yeah, hold on, let me get out. I'm gonna get out and come talk to you. Yes. All right, we got, got a whole lot of new friends we just met here at the, at the road blockage. Wow. Man, look, look at this, at incredible. Yeah, look at Stunning. We can't, we can't we can't take that bridge to go around, no, right? No, we cannot. It's just for construction. Got it. Construction. Got it. You just have to here. Wow, this is this is beautiful. This yeah, is this, this is, is stunning, everybody. This is my Assalamu alaikum. Big brother. Alaikum salam. How's it going guys? How's it going? Great, good, great. Good. Wow, all these nice guys we met here. Yay. Pakistan! Pakistan. Yeah yeah yeah. Yo. Very cool man. Nice meeting you guys. Nice, nice meeting, meeting you guys. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> We're going to Hunza. We're very excited. We are going to Hunza too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you staying? Uh, we are staying, uh, first we are staying Chilas. in the Chilas. Chilas, okay. Yeah, next day will be Hunza Karimabad. Karimabad. Ah, Karimabad, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where we're staying. I'm here at the tour group, and they're just we're just driving around. So. <laughs> they're, they're, I, I just asked to see. I want to go to the most beautiful places, the the, the Pak China border. I can't wait, man. I've been trying to go for two months. How long have you been in Pakistan? Eighty days. Eighty days. Wow. Yeah. You've been Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad. Uh, Lahore, Islamabad, Murray, uh, Kashmir. Um, Peshawar. How do you like the food of Pakistan? I love it. Some of the best food in the world, oh, man. The best. The chicken, chicken or Karai. I haven't been to Karachi yet. My trip ends in Karachi. Okay. So when I leave Pakistan, I leave from Karachi. We need concrete conclusion about Lahore is yeah, the best or Karachi is the best. I promise you, uh, Lahore, Lahore is the best food so far. Oh, yes. yes! Lahore! Yeah. 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 And we're on our way. Not sure if we got special permission. They said small cars can go. Uh, looking behind me in the rear view, it looks like uh, we're the only one that was allowed. 
these big old trucks got away. It's man, just just I mean the the drive as long as it is, the drive is already so long. Imagine if you have to wait like another hour at some places just to sit and do nothing. Un unbelievable, y'all. Well, we made it all of five minutes, maybe only three minutes until there was uh, another stop. Because up here, I don't know if you can see it, maybe you can hear it if I stop talking, but there's a, a bulldozer that's uh, pushing these rocks down. Can you hear that? And they are, they're falling out of the road because they're building a new road. Amudasir, how long will this wait be? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. Okay, there's something really interesting here that I want to go check out. Uh, the wind's not blowing it, but that flag right there, it's a pink Pakistani flag. And uh, up, they're blasting some sort of music up there. I think it's a school. All the kids are wearing like a pink uniform. I'm kind of curious. I want to go upstairs and... It's a what? A madrasa. It's an Islamic school. Islamic school? Yeah, I think so. Huh? But I'm not sure about it. I thought it'd be kind of cool. They're clapping. I don't think they know I'm coming. I think... Uh, it's going to be a big surprise because they told me they don't see any, any foreigners here. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Wow. How are you? Is, is this, this is a school? Yes, it's a private school. Private school. I, I, I saw the pink shawar kameez and I thought it was really cool. I'd never seen that color before. Yeah, yeah, this is our school uniform. Oh, hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello, little kids. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Hello, hello. And is that another school over there? Yes, sir. Is that another school over there? Yeah, this is also our school. That's your school too? This, name, this school name is Karagrum Public School and College. And this, name is, uh, this school name is Hira Public School and College. Nice to meet you kids. Nice to meet all you. I love the way they're dressed. Where from you, sir? United States of America. United States of America. United States of America. Yeah, Pakistan! Zimbabwe! <laughs> oh, I love this. Very, very cool. Some more rain and another checkpoint. Here, uh, examining my visa and my passport again. The, the past few uh, checkpoints, they've been pretty quick. Maybe like one minute max. This one, taking a little more time. They got some questions. They don't see too many guys like me coming on the road up here. A lot of tourists come uh, to Hunza, but not a lot come by road, as I've been told. But it's okay, we're just chilling. I mean, there there are no bad views on this road at all. There's, there hasn't been a single Part rather than like a <laughs> board or anything. Constantly astounded. All right, we're by the, like the river bank and it's quite dry, so we're seeing all this sand blow across the highway. It gives it just a really, really cool effect. And uh, everything looking a lot more like white now with the sand and then uh, up in the mountains, just those, those bro, and this is like, wow, just such a crazy uh, different mix of colors here. This drive, y'all, just out outstanding. And we have arrived in Chila City. We're here to eat a little bit of food and to find a uh, print shop so we can get my passport and visa. This is even photocopied, uh, so we don't have to keep stopping. We can just uh, go ahead and hand it off. But uh, city's booming. Smells good. Burger place over there. If you've been watching my TikToks, you'll know I've had a lot of burgers. Chipli kebab. Oh, I love chipli kebab. Very good. Very good. Ah, chipli kebab. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Oh, it looks really good. Got the oil over there. They got the fresh beef ready to go. Is that the uh, the halwa? Yes, No, these are the onions. Onions. Oh, very nice. Very nice. We got a lot of people in here eating. All right, and the chipli kebab has arrived with the classic roti, and they got the green chili peppers on it. All right, grabbing a little piece of the chipli kebab with the bread. Oh, look at this. Pow. Mmm, wow. That's really, really good. It's uh, a lot less oily than some of the chipli kebabs I've had in Peshawar. 
and the whore. Man, I was only gonna eat a little bit because I didn't want an upset stomach on the way to uh, to Gilgit, but that's good. You know, it's cooked in oil. But like I said, it's not as greasy, not as oily as the other ones I've had. And a good amount of like seasonings and spices in there. That might be the best chipotle kebab I've had. I think this is better than what I had in Peshawar. Really? No joke, man. Yeah. It's just a lot more lean and it's not as like juicy. It's a little more dry. I like it like that. All right, all right. Our guide here may have given me some false info. Way back when he told me we had three hours to go to Gilgit and then three hours after. So how long to Gilgit right now? Three hours. Three oh, hours to Gilgit hours. now? Yeah. And then how long to get to our other place? Two hours. So it's 2.39, we'll get to Gilgit at maybe 5.30, and then two more hours to get to actual yeah, So when you said 8 o'clock, you were extremely accurate. Okay, see, I built in the Pakistani <laughs> time. I've been yeah. here 80 days. I, I know I know, I know how I know how y'all figure out the time. Yeah. All right, so that, okay, good. I had mentally prepared for that. Yeah. Had I thought it would have been the shorter route, I wouldn't have been upset, but I would have been, oh boy, it's gonna be a while. And for the next part of our adventure, we're gonna go get a SIM card. Uh, could have waited until Hunza or Gil get to get one, but you know, with five more hours to go and no data, I got I got, I got some work to do, y'all. So want to catch up on that and not have to just worry about doing a lot of work when I get home tonight at the hotel, whenever that may be. I still feel like even 8:30 might be uh, very generous, but uh, let's hope not. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, all right. We're in the SIM card store. Assalamu alaikum. Salam, salam. Oh. We got a combination like charger store slash fingernail clipper store slash hopefully SIM card store and some sunnies too if you need those. Oh, they got the store's got everything. They got a baby blanket, they got the vests, the waistcoats, cosmetic stuff. Okay, nice. Got all the adapters up there, face masks. We're back online. We got the SCOM SIM. Our good friend here, Abkanam Kiai. Osama hooked me up with the SIM card. He asked what my channel is. He's watching my latest video. I made sure to tell him he'll be uh, he'll be on one of these videos uh, in a couple weeks. Who knows how long it'll it'll take to post this, but hopefully not too long. Shukriya, my friend. Thank you. And thank you, everybody else. And we are on our way with a fresh hot data connection. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. And uh, we're set up and we're good. We're on our way. Hop in the whip and back on the road for the next <laughs> five, six hours. But at least we got data. Okay, tea break time. It's like uh, 5 p.m. now. Still have three to four hours to go. But this is Nanga Parbat. It anchors the West Himalayan Rage. The huge mount is not a single peak, but a series of ridges culminating in an ice crest. Unfortunately, kind of cloudy, so we can't see it all. But uh, if you've watched my videos from Argentina, this this mountain range here looks very similar uh, to like the 14 colored mountain and the uh, uh, that place in Humahaca. My brain's a little fried from the drive, but yeah. If you like mountains and stuff, watch those Argentina videos and look at the snow-capped mountains up there. Same same vibes as Argentina with like the glaciers and stuff. Tomorrow, I guess we're gonna go see the world's fourth largest um, glacier. But yeah, Nanga Parbat. Oh, there's the View Hotel. Really, really small town. Well, we're gonna roll up in here and oh, I mean, snow capped mountains. All right, so the tea has arrived. Uh, the driver here and I are going with green. Muzadir is going with uh, chai. Yeah. But what, what were you saying about the chai? I was saying that uh, most people in Pakistan, like in the central Pakistan, the Punjab and Sindh region, they like their chai with uh, sugar in it. But in Gilgit-Baldistan, the people love it with salt. With salt? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And yours has salt in it? Uh, not, I don't know. Wait, I'll check it. I, I've had so much chai and it's always so sugary. No, it's but like salt. Uh, it hasn't got salt or either it's... Uh, it's just plain, yeah, it's plain, plain milk tea. Interesting. But uh, since you have only sugar, we'll put sugar, sugar. in it. <laughs> I prefer my tea, uh, chai with... Uh, Sugar. Uh, I saw what you, you put in. You put in about a kilogram of sugar today yeah, into your tea, man. You loved it. That's what kept me awake all day. <laughs> <laughs> Update. It is now 5:09 uh, p.m. Guide tells us we've got anywhere between two and a half to four hours left, depending on traffic. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess we're gonna lean more towards the four hours. What what do, you, what do you guys think at home? Let me know in the comments. It's 5:09 now. What do you think is gonna be our final uh, reaching time? I'm gonna say. 8.45 is what I'm feeling. 8.45 feels right. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're gonna try to catch a little bit of the, the sunset here. Soon uh, it'll be dark and that won't really make for the best camera content. 
um, but I'm excited to get to the hotel and chow down on some food. This has been one of the most, if not the most, amazing, beautiful drives in my life. Uh, so no regrets that the plane, uh, the flight was canceled. But um, yeah, definitely, you know, it's certainly a very long time to be in one place. Uh, so we're just gonna roll on and oh, see what happens. That's a cool monument, the U.S. What was that? Well, well, uh, this was the junction of uh, Sikardu and Gilgit. Like this strip goes to Gilgit and the down there, the, that road leads to Sikardu. Oh, so okay. This is the point where people will stay here and take some photos as well. You make your choice which way you want to go to. Sikardu yeah, exactly. or Gilgit. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Alright, we've officially reached Gilgit. That is the Jultial area. This is the new one. And this is the new one? The new one. The new one. Right? Am I saying that right? Yeah, you're saying that. Yeah, okay. The new one. Not a lot going on in Gilgit. People told me that, excuse me, I should only stay here for one night if I visit. Yeah. Do you agree it's not, doesn't look like a lot going on? No. Okay. It's like uh, mostly for business, business areas or the locals, not for the tourists. Got it. One night in Gilgit? Well, not even a, not even a night. Maybe 20 minutes driving through Gilgit uh, to the next destination. And it is now 7.48 at night and we have arrived at the hotel and I am exhausted. Uh, you know, I was, I was in great spirits up until it got dark and then uh, phew, just really, really burned me out. In total, we left at 9 a.m. Uh, so this was just about over 10 hours uh, of driving. I never want to be in a car again uh, after, <laughs> after today. Uh, but my name is Brent Tim from finally, finally Hunza Valley. And I'm saying ciao for now.